You guys have been through this a little bit before at the end of a season, but you know, seeding for the SEC tournament, does that really matter to you guys, knowing what you got to do when you get down there anyway? I mean, like, like we've been saying, you know, we know what's at stake. We know what we got to do to get to the finish line. So right now we're just trying to stay the course and just take it game by day, game by game at this point. Yeah, Key, just what were the emotions like for you tonight, you know, leading up to the game, knowing it was senior night? Did, did you and the other veterans on the team maybe, you know, talk about it beforehand? Just kind of what was it like for you? Uh, you know, it was definitely emotions, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of vets, you know, a lot of grad transfers, you know, some guys, you know, never play again. Maybe me, you know, but it was just a good feeling, you know, just, just, just to make it here, you know, especially for me, you know, it's a great feeling just, you know, being able to play my four years here be a senior and get my degree here. Key is someone that's been here for four years. Frank, right before you came on in here, you know, he, he, he shared that he was very close to just hanging it up, not just at USC, but just hanging, coaching up all together after everything that he went through last year. As someone that has been with him, and I mean, you're not dumb. I mean, you, you hear what things are being said about your coach um, externally. You know, what, what does this year mean to you as someone that has seen Frank from, you know, the time you got here as a freshman to now? And uh, what can you share to us about Frank Martin, you know, the coach as well as the person? Uh, this year was, you know, was, I think was a important year for me, you know, just not on the court, but, you know, just off the court, you know. One thing I can say about Frank, you know, it's a lot of people, you know, like you said, a lot of people say this and that about him, but it's bigger than basketball over here, and that's what you guys don't get to see. It, it, it's things we go through off the court, you know, that he's he stuck by us like, as if he's a father. So, you know, what we went through last year, you know, just me being here multiple years, you know, and the relationship we had, you know, I'm big on loyalty, and that's one thing, you know, my parents always taught me. So if somebody got your back, then you stand with them. So I, I'm going to stand behind them through whatever. You mentioned the loyalty aspect of it. You could have transferred if you wanted to last year. Frank's even said that. Just what does it say that you and, and a guy like Jermaine come back and you're in a position now where you're 18 wins, nine league wins? What's it say about you guys and the team as a whole that they can bounce back from what last year was? Um, just just let us know, know not to keep our heads down. Last year was last year. Lee last year is where it's at. And just move on from it. We just want to show. The main thing was me and Jermaine was, bro, let's, let's make Frank feel good again. Let's let him feel good about coaching. Let, let us be the two guys to uplift that and let's get this team going. And that's what we all we've been trying to do all season. Corey on the left. Keyshawn, there was a, and first off, let me say, I'm apologize to the team because I, I tweeted about you guys doing this and literally the next trip, the streak was broken. So my bad <laughs> on that. Uh, but you guys went, you guys went over 20, went a 23 minute stretch tonight without a turnover. How do you, how do you get yourselves in a position to to go on a streak like that during a, during a game and and with you guys not necessarily being able to to pull away from Missouri during that stretch, what do you kind of learn from that? Just from a, a standpoint of trying to be as efficient offensively as possible. Uh, one thing I learned about this team, you know, I feel like a majority of our turnovers come off just you know trying to force things or just simply just moving too fast. You feel me? So when we games like this, you know, we kind of had to buckle down, you know, execute a few plays. So kind of slowed the game down. It was, there was less transition than it normally was tonight. So it just kind of, you know, just gave us a chance to work on our offense, you know, and just make the right passes. And, you know, with that, that stretch, like you said, without the turnovers, it was actually for me a pretty good stretch. And we noticed it and, and it showed that, you know, without turnovers, look what we could do. Key, did Frank ever tell you guys that he was thinking about walking away last year? Like, did he tell you personally, like, I'm, I may be done? <clears throat> I mean, I really want to get into details, you know. We had our conversations, you know. I'm pretty sure him and Jermaine had our, their conversations, you know. But he's here. At the end of the day, he's here. We're here with him. And like I said, I'm standing behind him through it all.